Kwame Nkrumah accepted the invitation of the newly formed United Gold Coast Convention UGCC, to become its first general secretary. But within a short period, Nkrumah broke away from the UGCC. He went on to announce the formation of a new party known as the Convention People's Party CPP. Why did Nkrumah have to break away from the UGCC barely a year after joining the party? In the Gold Coast Den, J.B. Danko had formed the United Gold Coast Convention UGCC, to work for self-government by constitutional means. On 10th December 1947, Kwame Nkrumah returned to the Gold Coast accepting Danko's invitation to become the UGCC's General Secretary. Big Sis member Ebenezer Akunwaje recommended inviting Nkrumah, whom he had met at Lincoln University. As General Secretary, Nkrumah addressed meetings throughout the Gold Coast and began to create a mass base for the new movement. When extensive riots occurred in February 1948, the British briefly arrested Nkrumah and other leaders of the UGCC. When a split developed between the middle class leaders of the UGCC and the more radical supporters of Nkrumah, he formed in June 1949 the new Convention People's Party CPP, a mass-based party that was committed to a program of immediate self-government. In January 1950, Nkrumah initiated a campaign of positive action involving unviolent protests, strikes and non-cooperation with the British. Reasons why Nkrumah broke away from the UGCC Certain factors created a difficult and strained relationship between Nkrumah and the UGCC party leadership. These were among the reasons why Nkrumah founded the CPP. Here comes an outline of the major reasons why Nkrumah left the UGCC to form his own party. Mutual distrust on both sides. In fact, both Kwame Nkrumah and the other leaders of the UGCC felt right from the onset that his radical ideas did not suit their style of politics and could make the working relationship difficult. The UGCC leadership blamed Nkrumah for the 1948 disturbances. Pa Grant, in particular, made this known at the Watson Commission hearing. The UGCC leaders claimed that Nkrumah's communist radicalism was to blame for the 1948 riots. 3. The exclusion of Nkrumah from the Kuze Committee This was despite the fact that the other five of the Big Six were included. 4. Nkrumah regarded the UGCC as being too conservative. The conservative legalistic methods preferred by the UGCC did not sit well with Nkrumah's radical orientation. This was another reason why Nkrumah thought the break was inevitable. 5. Pressure from Nkrumah's youthful followers Agitation from such young followers of Nkrumah as Krobo Edusei, Kojo Bochiu and Komla Agbeligbedema also played a significant role. They stressed the need to break away from the old men in the UGCC. 6. Open-ended objective of the UGCC this was a key factor that accounted for Nkrumah's departure from the United Gold Coast Convention. Nkrumah did not agree with the open-ended time frame of the UGCC for the achievement of independence. Its slogan, self-government within the shortest possible time, was not ambitious enough for the radical Kwame Nkrumah. 7. Kwame Nkrumah wanted to protect his pet projects. The leadership of the UGCC demanded that Nkrumah abolish his Committee on Youth Organization, Accra Evening Newspaper, and Ghana National College at Cape Coast. He personally founded these. Nkrumah's refusal to abandon these projects further worsened the strained relationship between the two sides. And finally, 
the demotion of Nkrumah from the post of General Secretary of the UGCC. This happened in August 1948 in the aftermath of the February 1948 riots. This clearly created bad blood between him and the founders of the UGCC. Therefore, Nkrumah's breakup with the UGCC was something that was just waiting for the right opportunity to happen. The Field Reconciliation A committee was set up to bring reconciliation between the two sides. It was under the chairmanship of William Oforiata. This committee failed to achieve that goal. The final break came at a meeting of the Working Committee on 11th June 1949 at Salt Pond, now the birth of the Convention People's Party CPP. On the following day, 12 June 1949, at a mammoth rally at Accra Arena attended by about 60,000 supporters, Nkrumah announced on behalf of the Committee on Youth Organization CYO the formation of a new party, the Convention People's Party. In Nkrumah's own words, the primary objective of the CPP was to fight relentlessly by all constitutional means for the achievement of full self-government now for the chiefs and people of the Gold Coast. Thank you for checking out this video. We hope to see you on our next episode. Peace.